you're going to need 365 grams of tomatoes 15 grams of fresh garlic 10 grams of ginger 2 large white onions 4 medium potatoes cut into 4 half a large green capsicum half a lemon half a can of tomato paste 600 milliliters of plain Greek yogurt with the option of food color though I'll show you an alternative in the middle of the video and some coconut cream you cannot have a Swahili dish without coconut cream blend the green pepper with three tablespoons of coconut cream until it becomes liquid while most people prefer putting food color on their potatoes to give them the classic yellow biryani potato color i prefer an alternative which i will show you in the middle of the video put vegetable oil in a sufuria until it is half full Deep fry your onions on high heat until they are golden brown. I washed off the food color I put initially so that I can put some turmeric powder which gives that natural orange color and also adds some flavor to the potatoes. This is the alternative I prefer. Once the onions are deep fried, deep fry your potatoes for approximately 9 minutes or until the outside looks crunchy. Do not overcook. Use the same vegetable oil that was used to fry the onions and the potatoes and put some of it in a sufuria to begin the process of making the biryani stew. You will need approximately 6 tablespoons of this oil. Put the garlic and the ginger into the oil and fry until golden brown. your mutton i used 500 grams for this video but you're supposed to use 1 kg add the spices as seen on screen half a teaspoon of black pepper one teaspoon of cumin Three quarters of a teaspoon of nutmeg half a teaspoon of cloves three quarters of a teaspoon of cardamom one teaspoon of cinnamon half a teaspoon of allspice one and a half teaspoons of curry powder and a teaspoon of salt once all the spices are mixed in add half the can of tomato paste Mix in the blended capsicum Stir 
together the sephiria components and then add 600 milliliters of the greek yogurt followed by 250 milliliters of cooking cream Add the 365 grams of tomatoes. Squeeze half a lemon into the sufuria. Place the sufria aside for the stew to simmer for 25 minutes. To prepare the biryani rice, you're going to need 600 grams of rice, washed and cleaned. Add some of the deep fried onions we did earlier. Put 4 tablespoons of the vegetable oil that we use to deep fry the onions and potatoes and add a half a teaspoon of turmeric. Add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Fill the sufuria until the top. Add 7 tablespoons of coconut cream to the rice. Boil the rice until it's cooked. After simmering for 25 minutes, put the potatoes we deep fried earlier and some parsley. Add the other half of the deep fried onions to the stew at this point. Cover the sufuria and place aside to simmer for another 25 minutes. Boil 4 eggs for 14 minutes in a sufuria with water. After simmering for 25 minutes, add the 4 boiled eggs to the stew. Cut them into 4. Mix in the boiled eggs and set aside to simmer for 10 minutes. Once the rice is cooked, you should have this beautiful yellow natural rice together with your delicious looking flavorful biryani stew. Serve on a plate with just a touch of the stew to some rice. The stew is very, very flavorful, so you don't need too much per serving. Enjoy! Mm -hmm.